the concept and whenever you go to any project there are lots of uh, line of code written thousand twenty thousand of line of code written in a single class then there are some techniques where you can jump to that particular method those are the debugging techniques no one trains on those uh, techniques whenever you will be working in your project then only you will able to learn those things even you if you go to the youtube or any udemy course you will rarely find uh, these things so these things come only from the live project so we are contributing this also in this course because we think that if you attend this course and if you join this course then after uh, this course at least you should be able to understand the code how to what should be the approach that you should follow to understand that code how to debug that code because uh, your manager may ask you to run the particular script because a single script may have thousand line of codes so how will you run those line of suppose 500 line of code the code gets uh, stuck and then you have to run your script again and and then you will be able to uh, understand what is going on in that script so i think that this level of training is required nowadays which no one is giving actually but if in terms of fees like sumit said they are charging like 15000 20000 so we are not challenging a, a, a anyone like there are multiple trainers and more than uh, more than knowledge compared to me compared to sumit or the gidigambar but uh, when it comes to delivering to the students they are getting zero level of training so uh, my agenda during this training is like whatever you are coming for you can receive the best and we will deliver you the best this is not about a single debugging technique uh, many things are there like in terms of selenium if you have gone through then many things are there particular attribute is written but what should be the approach for the live project this all will be uh, taking care of we will start from very basic from java and uh, let me share my screen and uh, i will tell you what step by step uh, the agenda of this session is to get your all queries like whatever you are asking in the whatsapp groups or emails then you can ask this question freely here right you should not hesitate here because if you came here to learn anything then you must ask the questions this is only the way you can learn if you are not coming with the questions then you are not learning this this is what i think because when i was a learner in a very basic selenium then i also felt that so you should ask questions related everything okay so i am sharing my screen uh, can you see my screen like ppt sumit and anybody can tell me bandhan i can see bandhan are we recording yes. yeah i am recording this okay. session okay okay you also please yeah, record yeah. at your end okay so uh, first of all let me tell you about this uh, training i will be going with course introduction later on uh, first let me go with the uh, benefits that you are going to get in this course like assignments after each topic like from starting java whenever we will start oops concept whenever we will deliver you the if else even even if else concept in java we will give you some assignments and for that we have a dedicated mobile app you just download it in your android mobile and then you can access all those assignments from there you don't need to reach to me that sir kindly share the assignment you just download that app we will upload before any session suppose we are covering if else now then before after comp before completing that session you will get all your assignments in case you are using ios mobile then we we, we will sharing this data in the google classroom so everybody can access in both of those uh, platforms but in mobile app whenever we upload anything you will get the notification that you will not get notified in uh, the classroom app okay now here recordings of each session sometimes happens like uh, i am working sumit is working 
we we will take all the session live and all those sessions will be recorded but in case you miss that live session or you are busy in your office uh, project or anything then you can watch those watch those recordings later on also okay and in uh, after watching those uh, recordings if you have some questions you can ask us since we are working uh, like uh, five days we are working and lots of workload uh, having with me and sumit as well so we're not able to address all the queries in weekdays but uh, weekend if you guys will come multiple queries then before starting the course part before starting the that current day topic we will address first your queries and then we will uh, move forward so this is what we are going to do like mock interviews uh, we have planned mock interviews uh, topic by topics that i will show you in this labs job assistance see job assistance is is not 100% promisable but as per my experience what i can say is that if you have that skill from nokri.com you will receive at least 100 calls in a month if you put your resume 15 days notice period okay and then you will able to crack the interview after this course that i can promise whatever instructions if i i will give and you follow those instructions then surely you will going to crack that interview so it depends on you like uh, job assistance and there are some reference references with digambar uh, with me and uh, sumit so we can refer you also in in because we have many students in pe uh, in previous batches and th those students are working in reputed organizations so they can help you you just need to uh, connect in that facebook group that we have separately so there you can find everything like certification after uh, project completion uh, we will give you college to industry certificate and very frankly that is not valid uh why i am saying that because uh, people are actually selling the certificates this is only for those students who who are thinking like certificates is everything but when you are whenever you are going to give an interview no interview interviewer will ask you for any certificate they will just ask you question answer them and you will be selected this is my experience this is my 5 year plus experience in this it industry no certificate is valid anyone can say you but no one can guarantee you okay but still if you want that we can provide that website certificate sir we can also arrange you the uh, experience letters like that one but that is those are not valid if you don't have enough knowledge see a special code reviews of assignment if you complete your assignment whatever given uh, will be given after this session then we will review them and uh, if anything like we can uh, say that you should correct uh, in that code or that code level should be modified then we will address that uh, to you that you can do this in this better way so you can um, modify as a uh, good developer like uh, assignments notes in mobile app that i told you whatsapp telegram connect for queries of course 24 by 7 connect but query will be answered whenever we will get time like suppose you have pasted your question your task is over now our task gets started but you have to provide us appropriate data uh, that what error is coming what code you have written so that collecting that data we can come into a result that okay you have done this mistake you are just sharing that error name that we we are not uh, god that we will understand that code so it depends on you if in first time you will do it you will get your answer in first time otherwise you will keep asking you will keep saying that please share this and that code and this is skin sort and that is skin sort so depends on you i hope that you are in it industry you understand it easily what i am trying to say see and this is code debugging understanding techniques everything is debugging in this uh, in the coding everything is debugging you have to fix one line of code and for that you have to move to at least 1000 line of codes this is happening actually in my current project in my previous projects everywhere this happens De debugging use every everything that's why we will covering the express and variables outline once you will understand this you will see oh coding is so easy because 
the, you don't know these techniques you are keep, uh, keep going on thousand steps but you can point at that particular area and then your you can fix at that that code so the beginning of everything in coding if you don't know then we will train you and high level debugging techniques will be trained to you okay so this is for the benefits that you will get in this course now i'll take questions and uh, sumit will be answering those questions you can uh, one by one yeah if you have any question let me answer that any questions guys till now syllabus we will cover related to these uh, benefits you related to these things nobody has question but i was getting lots of question in the whatsapp group you can also write down your questions if you are yeah we are uh, going ahead and you can ask your questions later on also okay anybody has any doubt please feel free free to clear these doubts because uh, if you have any doubts and are you are going with those doubts this is not good so you should clear out doubts and if you maintain this habits from day one then you will be it will be me and for you also to run this uh, course yeah i would like to know the duration of this course uh okay so duration will be two and half months to three months uh, and uh, why why i am saying like 15 days because uh, it happens you ask some questions and uh, sometimes i also take interest like this topic should be more explained like so in that case it takes time but minimum two and half months to maximum three months and after that you will get your project mini project and we will be supporting in that project so this is the timeline and at least this timeline is needed for completing this course but people are completing within a month i don't know but this timeline is needed because in 3 months you will not only attending the trainings you will be also writing the codes writing the assignments completing the assignments you will go with lots of coding lots of coding and uh, you will be writing code snippets small code snippets and the 500 600 line of codes this practice will make you perfect in coding and then it will be easy so it will require at least two and half months to three months so you will be uh, covering like basics java basics of java to automation like selenium Uh, yeah if all that yeah, yeah from zero level of the training to top level of the training means you i will be telling you how to install that software which will be required for coding how will you be uh, setting up the path and then uh, i will explain about that particular tool ide that you will be working in eclipse and this all from starting from here then it will be starting how to declare the variable how to write write if else what is switch case this all from starting from here to selenium framework and then mini project even you will receive a, a collection mini project in java also you will you be covering jenkins and all jenkins uh, yeah we will be covering uh, the jenkins but jenkins will be covered as per the testing requirement so i am coming to that part like syllabus i am coming to that part okay thank you any more questions sir no sir good morning yeah hi hi sir i am not basically i am mechanical stream sir you can do this course sir see i think that we had a discussion in phone call also ha ah, sir yeah so i whatever i said there remains same because see we will not make any fake promise to you like you have 6 years gap like right yeah. 6 years is gap so i i, I think that uh, that 
knowledge wise it will be working for you okay, but uh, if you are going to find a job and if you find a job if you find a job in software testing then if you opt this course then it will be more beneficial to you but if you are coming to this course and then you are finding a job and you are not able to find just because of your 6 years gap yes, then it will be not worthful to you so it depends on you people are getting the jobs after 6 okay. years 7 years gaps also but it depends on luck also sometimes so we you are not here to judge your luck you are here to learn something so you can for learning you can uh, of this course yes sir okay sir thank you sir okay so i am uh, sharing this syllabus also so this is our website college to industry.com and this is in maintenance phase we are in connect with multiple uh, organizations so they are developing this and new version will come soon so certificate this i told you lifetime access i told you uh, and uh, fifth is doubt session so bi weekly means in every two weeks there will be a doubt session in sunday even you if you ask and even if you not ask means a single student is sufficient for us to organize that session but if you are multiple then then it uh, it will be good for us because we can address all those queries in a single shot so this is for, uh, from us like doubt session but if anybody is not coming with with doubts to us then we will not organize this session because what what's the need of it you can ask with the questions in emails also in telegram group in whatsapp group and in weekend you can call us also any advice you need you can take also so this is all like interview preparation so uh, three months course and after two months i will be starting i start sharing you the details like uh, as per my experience from the glass door data from my friends experiences all those questions are combined which are most common questions and will be shared to you and uh, there is a ebook i am writing in the software testing interview automation course so that i will be sharing all those for you uh, all all of you as a review all all my students as a review for free so this is not promised because it will take time like 5 6 months and i'll sharing you and sumit is helping in that ebook so he will be also sharing the many questions which are most common job assistance i told you there are mul multiple references we can give you if we feel that in our mark inter uh, interview that we are taking you are doing good in uh, there so we can refer you doubt solving that we are organizing in bi weekly see we are starting from here installation of the software you can ask your question in between also if you think that here you need to stop me and you can uh, you need to ask something then you can do this installation of the software basic java if else nested if else switch case loops for nested for while do while array 2d array multi multi dimensional there is no 2d array a single array and multi dimensional array so we will covering all this because these are the building blocks of any coding language so we will covering this after that we will having a mock interview we will select five of you and we will mock interview and how we will select these five students all those who students who have completed the assignments and all those who students who are interactable in the session interacting with us asking questions we will keep their names remember and then we will ask them for mock interview but suppose uh, students who are sitting idle not submitting any assignment not interacting with us even not asking question in the session then we 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 will also not able to identify those who students who are working hard so interaction made make me understand which student is doing what okay so in that case we will uh, select five students oops in java phase 2 then after this mock interview you will get will starting this oops and then we will be explaining modifiers in java ways to declare an object 
because of there are multiple ways to declare an object of overloading overriding method hiding encapsulation abstraction nowadays era is changed they will not sim uh, simply ask what is encapsulation they will ask you like in your selenium framework where you have used the encapsulation so now this now now from single question they will understand that you have knowledge of framework or not you have knowledge of encapsulation or not so in that case we will be telling after each session that what questions should be coming and how they will be asked what are the ways to ask this single question we will be telling you in that session only then constructor chaining is a relationship has a relationship means inheritance of two types we will be explaining those abstract class and interface when to use of stack class when to use interface everything like at depth level so that you'll be understanding in your project code that okay why this is has been declared here not interface why only abstract class after that there will be a mini project assignments interview questions and mock interview too till here anybody has any doubt Okay. Any question if you have? Okay. You can also write your questions in the chat box. You want to? Okay. Now, Sumit, I am uh, giving to you, like, uh, from this slide collection. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, these days, uh, apart from the OOPS concept. Uh, companies are asking the questions from the framework as well. So we will be going to cover each and everything about collection in Java. So you can say after OOPS concept, the most uh, questions which are going to put up from the uh, on the interviews from the collection part. So we will start that from the basic that why we are going to use the collection in Java, right? And then after we will have list, array list. So these are so many concepts here you are able to see on your screen. And once you will complete the collection framework, so the reason why I am saying that you need to uh, you need to be very very good in the collection framework is because once we will going to discuss the Selenium part, there we are going to use all the topics which we have learnt in the collection. So this is the reason uh, many of the people uh, many of the people I have seen that uh, they have started Selenium, but they do not have the good good knowledge of uh, collection part. So we are going to make sure that. First, we will be very, very clear with all the collection topics. So once we will uh, go to the Selenium part, everything will be crystal clear to everyone. So collection, we are going to do in depth as well. Vandan, over to you. Yeah, after that, there will be, if required, then there will be one week gap because there will be a school admission portal mini project on collection. So it will require two or three days to, uh, you to complete. But since we are having only weekend batch this time, I don't think that this will be required. You will have five week days to complete it. And I I promise you that after completing this assignment, no question remaining re will remain in interview, which interviewer will ask you and you will not able to answer. But your honesty is more required. Because copy paste assignment, it doesn't work. Like in interview, at least it not works. Because there are, can be many questions which will be asked as a counter questions, and you will not able to answer them. You will only able to answer them if you complete those assignment by your own. Because all the assignments have a learning. Like Sumit and me has designed those assignments in a way then it is fact like you will be coming with questions guaranteed but if you not complete then those questions will not coming those learnings will not coming okay then after this these are some screenshots of the assignments a previous question previous batches so you can see those screenshots are available in uh, in the Google Classroom account since uh, we have uh, restricted the screenshot in mobile app. So we are not able to take the screenshot from the mobile app. Okay, so 
we have not put it here after that we will be starting selenium web driver and uh, selenium web driver first of all we will introducing what is selenium and why we require selenium if we have multi uh, manual testing uh, then we will start selenium components adding selenium jars and then basic selenium concepts launching multiple uh, browsers like firefox internet explorer and chrome and if you have a uh, safari then you can launch safari ways are same but drivers are different so we'll explaining all those in initial training and then selenium locators will be started like id and these actually are the what we can say what i can say is that this is actually your building block uh, if i give an example in my current project uh, my manager asked me to write xpath for a different team Be why because the dom was more complicated html document was more complicated and it was not easy to write xpath for that so what people do people will just download the selector sub plugin crow path plugin but we will be training you from dev tools chrome dev tools and you will be expert in these xpaths this we can guarantee and uh, we are in touch with uh, sanjay kumar also so we will having one session for the selector sub last batch we have organized a session with him for our batch students and the recording is available in our youtube channel so sumit meanwhile i am explaining this you can share the youtube channel link also yeah i will so, share in the chat box That's yeah okay. they will be getting all those recordings in the youtube channel but in private mode so who so will enroll for this course will only able to view this recordings in youtube so recordings are fully paid like course fee this is also the fee for recording like who will be enrolling for the course will be eligible for all the benefits okay and then handling web elements there are multiple web elements javascript web elements are available on the websites sometimes elements are not visible and question comes how will you locate that element nonsense javascript or javascript executor and this values whatever you can see like in web every whatever you can see in web is a web element so we will be addressing those also okay and then we will be moving to test ng framework testing framework so this is the flow of the project like it test ng is the flow of the project so we will be uh, training in this testing framework multiple annotations multiple class level things like data provider annotation excel everything test ng dot xml file everything will be explained and no question will be remaining this we can guarantee after this like interviewer can ask that same question in multiple ways but we will be explaining all those so what we can say like this training is not like classroom coaching and uh, this training is all about industrial training we are working guys we know how to work in the projects so that level training we will provide you then maven because in every project nowadays maven is used so we will be covering this maven and then jenkins but jenkins is actually separate tool uh, devops is separate tool so jenkins will be covering only for the testing purpose you will be able to set your script you will be able to run your script you will be able to launch the emails just it it will be not like you will be a release engineer that is different post you are the software testers as far as software tester is required we'll cover all those okay so after that 
from scratch, we'll be telling you how to develop a framework. So page factory concept, page object model, test ng, memory properties, file report generation, reporting framework for Jenkins. All this will combine and then we'll create a framework and that framework will be a strong framework. So I have a GitHub URL, I already created it. If you for reference, you can take it. We'll share you after this session. So 15 plus assignments like mini project in Selenium end-to-end -end framework development. Mock interview three will be coming after that and how to explain framework in interview. This will be a important question that I will be telling you in a session. In a session will be dedicated for this. And then GitHub. GitHub is actually a previous session I have previous batches I have told with command from. This time I will be telling you with the command prom and git bash as well because i have multiple reviews with my students sir you told with the command prom that we are using git bash see command is same everywhere but the ui is different now students are getting confused so we'll be take i'll be taking care of all this how to create a branch how to pull code how to push code how to stash your code commit your code how to uh, login how to uh, set up the url where you have to put the code so all not i'm going to ex make you expert in github but as least you can able to manage your code in github in your team okay because this also requires six months of training if i come to this but since agenda is to make you expert in coding not the not the github okay so this you will be able to manage in your project but if you are saying that i will be able to uh, able to handle the code conflicts then that level of github training we are not going to provide because this is not your task this is your team lead task senior member task okay so this is about github you will be able to manage your code okay so this is about the course introduction and uh, project after the course completion 10 days du duration will be there if you want to work in team then maximum team size will be five minimum three if you want to work in that project alone then we will be giving this facility as well certification for the people who will be successfully completing this project and then complete the mock interviews also after that it comes here all about this like first 20 students 1499 after after the 20 students or fees in every batch not only in your batch in every batch this happens like we increase the fees after the 20 students and taxes will be applicable here as well so we are uh, taking the money from the insta uh, so this one so any question now please feel free to ask when are you going to start this uh, course from next saturday we will be start the training hey what are the frameworks you are going to cover framework will be your data driven hybrid framework and pairs okay hello can this you is a single framework. These are not three frameworks. You know, combine all those. Right, right. No, no, no. So can you, like, you know, in some interviews, people are asking, are you created any uh, customized framework? Okay. So because these are whatever you say, data-driven, page object model, or whatever it is, those are all predefined, right? So anything else you are covering, like, you know, customizing, creating a framework as per the project requirement, something like that? See, uh, let me answer this. So basically, whatever the framework we are going to design, uh, we are having page object model in that. We are we are getting that uh, data driven from our database as well. And we are also going to get the data from the Excel sheet as well. So basically, we are going to include all the things which we are going to see, right? So basically, we are going to, you will see that once we will design our framework, that will have so many things, not just uh, these two to three things. So you do not have to worry about that. Okay. See, when it comes to customizing the framework, it 
is not one person task because the project is to then uh, at least uh, two or three developers will required for it so even if i give an example in my project we are not the part of framework team java developers are there but we are the part of the team who have designed the structure of that uh, uh, that framework like page object model this is a design technique uh, that will be using so this is this will be going on but in your case you will be getting how to design a basic framework because once you will understand the basic framework then you can explore in your project it will be more easy okay yeah yeah correct thanks actually i was getting lots of question in in whatsapp group so related to fees related to course labels and this is the What url is the for timing this. timing will be around 10, 10 to 12 am in morning because see why this timing is uh Uh, last year we have started with the uh, 5 pm to 7 pm so if i have some work and i want to get, go somewhere so uh, i was stuck because i have to come back before 5 so i think that in morning we should attend the batch and then we you all will be free and you can go anywhere if you have some work so that's why this time timing will be weekend 10 to 12 am do you provide any fast track course to complete the selenium with have in shortest time see fast track to courses for those who are already have some knowledge but since we are organizing this batch from scratch we don't have the any fast track course whenever we will be having any fast track course we'll let you know uh, sumit uh, narayana here so are you guys going to create any uh, whatsapp group or telegram channel the people who are enrolled for this uh, uh, june 12th batch yeah uh, who so uh, first of all let me collect the data like one person is paid as of now So actually, I pay data, so uh, that's why I'm asking. Actually, yeah, we have your data in Insta Mojo, so okay. don't worry about that. Okay, yeah. If you so are not reaching to us, we will be reaching to us. So it's our responsibility who has paid. Yeah. So I mean, uh, to, uh, so the classes will be going to start from next week, right? Not from tomorrow. No, not from tomorrow. This is course introduction session. Okay. Uh, see. after every session you will be getting your code in github like whatever i have coded you will be getting in github so whatever sumit has uh, coded sumit will be providing his link right so this these are some codes for last batch that i have uh, uh, created so you can see this 21 repositories like you can take the, uh, those code references uh, during the sessions so sometimes people forget the code or need to watch the recording so you don't need to do that every session you will get those link you can download code i will tell you how to download that code and after that uh, there will be mobile app for the assignments for notes class notes and people who have ios mobile app i will be providing you google classroom account link and then you can get all your assignments there uh, for con con uh, keep connected we will be having a telegram group or a whatsapp group so one of group we will be having suppose in a time we will not able to answer you can email us at uh, polishedindustry@gmail.com you can reach to us uh, from the uh, website help section also so there are lots of way even you can directly call to us if we are not uh, response giving response to you weekend you will be getting all your responses 
but in weekdays it will be late like 9 to 6 we are working all so in 9 to 6 it is not possible every time to answer your queries so we are very frank with you like not making any fake promise that we will be answering you instantly but after the collecting the fees we are not getting in touch with you so this is what i can say to you yeah one more uh, one more question are we handling uh, uh, like uh, extracting data from csv files I and mean, not like a uh, entire cell value so some bit of value like splitting the value and getting it and uh, using it in the uh, our methods are we handling those kind of things in the framework level see uh, excel driven uh, driven data training will be given to you at that time you can ask these queries like uh, sub uh, substring you want to use stream you want to use so you'll be uh, giving answer answers there oh. in the framework in the framework their framework have lots of things like not only this uh, excel uh, data lots of things that will be combining there no okay yeah maybe at that time i i, I might get more information and i'll be more clear in that time Yeah. yeah. Any time, like you feel that you have that level of knowledge and you want to explore, then you can ask in that class. So we will be able to answer there only. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Ashwin. Uh, Advanced Selenium means uh, what? Like four point zero just launched phase two version. So advanced selenium is what? See uh, some of 4.0 features. Since 4.0 version is not stable yet, uh, selenium just have given an announcement two or two or three days back. So, Samir Arora, you belong from where? Manual testing is not included actually. but the test case scenarios will be explained if we are going to automate any scenario there canada so canada will uh, it it will be hot time for canada let me check canada time in canada Eight a.m. and it is like five, six, and uh, two eight hours. Like twelve p.m. Uh, at night, midnight twelve. Oh yeah, it will be late for you. Yeah, midnight twelve. But since you can watch the recordings, what we can say about this? It will be late. Then we can manage it into nine a.m. also. but not more less than that because it will be too early for some students <laughs> i know that present culture is like waking up at uh, 11 am <laughs> so okay guys anybody yes. has any anybody has yeah Yeah. Instead of ten, can we start at eleven? Because I am in UK, so it will be five a.m. in the morning. If you start at eleven, it will be better for me. Or if it will be weekend, I mean uh, evening session, it will be more preferable. Yeah, yeah, evening session will be more preferable. Yeah, you are saying right. Like, so with what we can do about it? Yeah, Vandan. I think we can have a discussion over that, and we will let everyone know today only in the group. Yeah, Samir is also good with the evening timings, and uh, I think so Pallavi. Are everyone having push. any issues with the evening timing? Any issues with the evening timing? Because uh, watching a recording is different, and joining live session is different. Yeah, yeah, sure. If, yeah, yeah, sure. So, yeah, I understand. Okay, so. Uh, next question is we will getting any receipt see if you will pay with the instamozo instantly you will be getting the receipt in your email also uh, 
you will be getting one receipt from email from insta also only so so that will be your receipt but you don't need a receipt will be get getting the notification so you don't need to even inform us will be getting your email id your phone number and your name before starting the batch will be dropping in email and you will be getting notified if you will not answering those emails will be connecting in your with the whatsapp so make sure that whatever your mobile number you are putting there it should be active in your whatsapp also so it will be easy for us to reach to you and don't forget after training we will starting from 19th java will be explained in the session yes for sure that uh, we have explained in the syllabus part 1 hour plus 10 am first is fine but evening india times thank you please confirm timing based on most probably many people have uh, some work so we will organizing the in the evening because we have many students from the of india yes we will be giving you live examples only taking up on the website and automating that but first month we will having the java sessions so don't think too far so timings most probably probably will be in evening and let's so uh, and the final we we will discuss with sumit uh, the, the sumit and digambar and then we will let you okay so this uh, session is recorded and it will be given to you in the youtube channel and you can and in the whatsapp group also okay guys so i am good from my side if you have any question then you can ask otherwise i need to leave uh in some also we'll share the link after this session okay guys thank you for attending today's session and uh, have a nice weekend uh, we will keep connected is skype i have not used with multiple people because that is free version well it is uh, actually very easy to use and also screen share and Hundred people can join in free version. Yes, you will get uh, assignments in email also. You'll be getting in Google Classroom also. You have to do it. Doesn't matter you are doing so same assignment will be posted in every platform. Like separate email we cannot drop, but. Uh, a place where you paste the assignment will be common. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, everyone. If you have any query, then you can also ask in the WhatsApp group. Still, if you have. Okay, bye, Digambar. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.